Hello fellow gamers, Madcon Gamer is back with my last dual pistol Madcon's Road to Prestige commentary. Since right now I'm pretty much completely and almost done, please stay afterwards to check out the stats and uh, pretty much overall experience, which uh, I will share myself while playing pistols in this wonderful Prestige that I had. Now, um, let's start off. We're playing on Villa once again. I played on this map many times. You've seen me pwn on this map like nobody's business but i wanted to show this last gameplay since i did a very good score considering this is team slayer and not domination game so please enjoy your time while i talk about my experiences now um untraditional to me i will not be talking about gameplay in particular right now but i would like to point out that um playing with pistols have taught me many things about call of duty uh when i started playing call of duty back in um Call of Duty days was first ever Call of Duty to come out. Uh, I never played online before Modern Warfare 2. I played some Modern Warfare 4, but it was after the Modern, Modern Warfare 2's release. So, believe it or not, I'm pretty new to the concept of playing online. Um, I played since like maybe two, a year and a half after Halo 3's release. And uh, I'm very new to the competitive online play, play, and I don't usually play competitively anyway. But, um, Back to my original point, what Black Ops taught me in terms of pistol gameplay is that frustration is unavoidable part of the game and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, the best thing one can do is just simply take their time, pick what they want to do and just enjoy the game the way it comes. Uh, I've played Modern Warfare 2 and uh, first prestige of Black Ops completely full out with every rifle, every weapon I could find and I couldn't find one that I liked. But after I put myself a goal and uh, after I became a commentator for uh, YouTube, I uh, started enjoying Black Ops more and more. I originally started commentating live in Halo Reach for my One Gun Only series. Once again, we'll be coming to this channel as well. And it was all done live and I did got some pretty decent results. However, uh, I miscounted the view count I got there and I thought I would get it here as well. I also thought that my uh, community from my main channel would transfer themselves here as well but that's not the case and you know what that's good as well because completely new audience completely new set of people always good and always nice so um <laughs> bringing back myself to the original point i think that the only way you can play call of duty games effectively and efficiently and the way you want them to play is to definitely pick a specific thing you want to do in the game pick yourself a goal outside of traditional ranking up and getting perks and just play it like that. Um, uh, as soon as I started playing with pistols and as soon as I got my pythons, my gameplay style completely changed. I became more aware of my surroundings. I became to lo look at my mini pad more often. I started worrying more about my ammunition count. I started to worry more about the way I move around the map. Uh, my team support, uh, my anim enemy movement, enemy player uh, weapon counts what weapons they have how to counter every single weapon i would say that surprise attacks like you just seen right now is probably one thing that i learned effectively playing um black ops and uh, the fact that i challenged myself playing with pistols something that is uh, pretty hard to play with also um brought pretty much a new experience to me in terms of get black ops uh and call of duty in general but i must say that Commentating, doing commenta commentaries in general is what made me play this game more and more. Uh, I will say right off the bat, I never liked Call of Duty games. Um, I liked them only for the single player and only World War II types. Because World War II games is what I grew up with. That's what I love. Uh, I love the concept of World War II. I love the concept of bolt action rifles. Uh, the moment I got into Mo Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1, Call of Duty 4, I didn't get disappointed, but uh, oh look at that! Look at that! Look at look! I love this part. Kill one, kill two, and kill three. A nice triple kill right from the back of the enemies was really nice. Um, I will definitely say that this was an experience worth having through all the downs and all the ups. Uh, I think that any gamer, self-respecting gamer, really should check this out and play with something they consider to be subpar. And do really great in it and enjoy their time regardless of their stats, KD, and um, other useless crap that people all worry about when playing these games. And uh, probably another thing that I learned is definitely how to pick perks, 
how to properly put them on in terms of how to use them when to use them uh probably how to counter different types of uh kill streaks and how to avoid them mostly it relies on luck but i would definitely suggest to uh get a more deeper understanding of the game through the eyes of a commentator through eyes of a gamer so i would greatly suggest to um greatly suggest to uh play the game the way it comes at you and uh just put in something of your own before i finish this up and as always please stay afterwards to see the stats and the premiere of new series which will be coming sometime soon but what i really want to say right now is to uh thank a few people that uh, uh got me through this indirectly directly doesn't matter first of all we'd like to thank brumac he was uh an incredible supporter i think he was one of those people that uh, made me do this stuff because one the support he gave and provided was very unique this was hilarious look at that didn't see didn't see he still managed to die um the support he gave me the feedback when he could and the general like wow even was enough for me to keep going um just i rock for just being here and starting out at the same time around me i felt comfortable to see that he is playing and i'm not the only new commentator out there and as well as mr flush and kittens because he's just a cool guy and he's active and whatnot so we went 20 to 4 with dual pistols with 5 kd ratio i hope i never did this game before but i hope you enjoyed it please stick around for the stats this was Mad Cow Gamer. I will see you in a sec. So, guys, here we are. Here's my wonderful tag. And let's go to combat record and see how well we did in this passing prestige. I would like to tell you that, yes, it is great out for now because I am not yet level 1, as you can see right now. But it will become level 1 as my new series starts up. So, technically, yes, it's been the entire prestige with, uh, obviously, with pistols only. So, if you followed me, you would know I'm not lying and my stats will prove it. So, let's go to combat record. So here we are, I am a commander, obviously, and um, time played, 2 days, 4 hours, yada yada yada, total wins, total losses, I definitely uh, evened out, ratios, point, 0 0.50, it's nice, my best streak was not 8, probably 8 for today or something like that, but uh, you know what, let's get into weapons, so here we are. My most favorite weapon is Python. Uh, I did not use Python in my other Prestige. I only used it in Prestiges you saw on YouTube. Total kills 6,133 and 2,000 of them was with Python. So consider this. It's more than one-third of kills with Python only. Actually, exactly. One-third of kills with Python and my accuracy is 30%, almost 30%. That's more than some people do. Come on, come on. My kill death ratio is um, 139, still above uh, one point average, which means I still get more kills than death. And you know, let's go deeper inside this. Uh, obviously, my hit location, heat map, and whatnot. Uh, I do not know what this is, so I don't even bother with that. Accuracy, obviously, Olympia was the best, and then went all the shotguns. And C <coughs> excuse me, CD17, I used it a few times, and Python. So let's get to the total kills. Obviously, the most kills out of all the weapons I have is my Python. And there we go. Every other weapon you see right here. Nothing special. Nothing to be wonderful. But it's going to change. It's going to change. Especially the sniper category. You will see why. So there you are, my Python. Most of the kills. Next is total deaths. Obviously, when I was using my um, Python, I died the most nothing special about it headshots once again mostly with pythons 360 headshots that's an amazing score for a pistol even with dual pistols that's extremely amazing and uh time skilled by grenade equipment kills 330 knives 301 equipment killed by that 852 grenade tosses doesn't mean it's killed and stuff and there we are uh, nothing spectacular besides the fact that i only used python and that's how many kills i've got only through two prestiges and only using one prestige well, I guess this is it. This is finale. This is my last upload with my Pythons for Madcaps Road to Prestige. Next time Madcaps Road to Prestige, we'll be using a different set of weapons. And I'm sure you will enjoy that. Uh, please stay tuned the next uploads besides my Madcaps uh, Mad Road to Prestige, which is going to be following every other single Prestige in the game, will be of one gun only. And next upload will be one gun only. Thank you for joining me. This was Mad Cow Gamer. I would like to thank you all of you for sticking with me through this prestige. And all to my all subscribers, thank you very much. I will see you next time. Cheers. Peace. 
Matt Cow's out.